How do everybody? Welcome back. Uh, I've been messing about this week. I've got some stuff to post. Uh, one of which you can see behind me. Uh, you can just about see. Uh, one, been messing about one of the trailers. I've uh, been putting solar panel on it and stuff like that. Uh, it's looking quite good actually. Um, another one. Just turn your spotlight bar for the disco. Uh, quite well made. Quite thick. Presuming all these are my uh, screws and brackets, and we've also got. If we can get it out, hang on. Oops, there goes my brackets. Some spotlights to go with it. Uh, I've got some of these on the front of the car. Nothing special, just some cheap eBay special ones. Um, I can't remember how much they were, probably about 15 quid each, something like that. So I've got four of them. I've got one, two, and three holes to mark the mountain with. So let's have a play, let's get them mounted and see what it looks so like. Again, just going back to these lights. Uh, and nothing special. Obviously, you get what you pay for. I know the Cree ones there, well, a lot more expensive. Um, but these will do the job for now. You get your brackets and stuff there. And that's what it's going to look like when it's all brackets around and everything. And then obviously, do there like that. Uh, let's carry on. Right, so we're all bolted up with the lights and everything. Just be aware that this one is actually the bolt on type, you know, with the brackets. You now, a lot of these I've seen on eBay are the ones where you screw up to the roof gutter and into like a bracket there. But at least with this one it just clamps onto your roof gutter so there's no drilling or anything required on this one uh, i think this was about 79 pounds from what i recall um so yeah next stage obviously there's some get some plastic caps to go over the nuts um so that'll tidy that up uh, now next stage is to uh, get all these wires all linked up now i'm not going to do the wiring on this uh, on my truck because honestly I am shit at wiring so I'm gonna let the garage do it but at least for now if I get all these connected up for him all linked together so that when it goes to the garage he can just do the rest of it so let's uh, do a bit of wiring there. you get an idea what this is looking like now uh, obviously the blue trailer outside is gonna be mine uh, this one's like a mock-up and I'm probably gonna sell this one I've got the solar panels mounted 230 watts. Inside there you've got the solar controller. You can see that it's picking it up, charging the battery up. Uh, inverter, which will power the uh, fridge. And that's just a start standard desktop fridge, nothing special. Um, what else have I done to it? Now obviously the space on the other side of that lid there to put another 230 watt panels giving you a total of 120 I don't think it needs it um, on that side you could probably mount some traction boards or something like that it's already kitted out for overlanding or expedition whatever two spare wheels shovel uh, you've got your 25 foot 20 litre water butt this side I've mounted a high lift jack uh, I've put some air vents in for a so when you're cooking at this side, but you can either have get this open. Right. Now at the minute, I've got a microwave in here. Obviously, you can pull that out on this uh, slide-out drawer. But probably better if I put a cooker in there, maybe. You can probably have what you want in there. To be honest with you. So yeah. Uh, that's it for now for this one. Um, probably just chuck a few more bits inside it, maybe. Uh, you know, like a cooker and what have you. And that'll be it for that. Uh, get this one salt. Anyway, been a few days. So, carrying on with this uh, light bar. This is what I've been up to. I've joined. Oh, well, I've linked up all these spotlights with the red and black wires. Uh, and uh, I'm using this bit of uh, Gucci cable trunking to protect it all, keep it all nice and tidy. 
Um, I've soldered all these properly and uh, wrapped them with tape. So as you can see it's gonna all feed in there, look nice and tidy. And I'll leave a bit coming out at the end there because the main bit of wire will be going down the it'll be running down the A pillar behind the plastic trim. So let's carry on with this and I'll show you the uh, finished product. Right, cable's done, all my uh, trunking's in. It's all nice and neat, cable tied up. That's all right. Loads of cable on it. Better to have loads than uh, not enough. And, uh, I have got shitty old battery, so I'm going to have a quick test with it, see what it does. Jobs are good then. So I think what I'll do is tomorrow morning when I come back in I'll uh, screw this bar up to the uh, roof of the car, see what it looks like. And then I'm going to take it down to the garage, they can uh, finish the wire and make a nice neat job of it. Put a discreet switch somewhere under the dashboard. Uh, yeah, another job ticked off. Uh, I don't know what's next, probably the... Um, what have we got now? Check a plate kit. That'll probably be next on the uh, disco, so look out for the video on that coming soon. Um, but for now, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the uh, new subscribers that have uh, tuned in to watch. Uh, we'll see you again nice soon. Goals. Uh, we are now fitted on the roof. Uh, got these nice black plastic clips, uh, covers, sorry, that cover up the silver bolts. Uh, from the front, Let's come round. There you go, that's what it looks like there. Put the wire in. I've got the conduit coming out the side. I'm going to chop it off probably about there. So then this bit of wire in here will run all the way down here, underneath, and straight into the uh, fuse box with the relays and whatnot. Uh, but the garage that does all my repairs, I'm going to let him do that because I am shit at wiring. Uh, so that's it for this episode, just about. Um, I don't know what's next, probably the checker plate on the bonnet and the sides, probably. Uh, weather permitting, hopefully the weekend I'll crack on with that. And there goes a the helicopter. So yeah. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, little episode on this. Um, give us a thumbs up, a likes, and all that jazz. Uh, and we'll see you again in another video. Thanks for watching. See you later.